A very blessed good day to each and everyone. I hope that you're going to have a wonderful and brightful Friday. <laughs> Today I'm going to share with you about Windows. Window. And uh, because I am new to this service and I am not yet knowledgeable and familiar with the Bible, but in the Bible there's a lot of verses, tackles, and talks about Windows. So, uh, I hope that I can deliver the message clearly to you and touch your heart the way it touches mine. Window, 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 window. Um, when we go outside, you will see lots of windows, right? Window in the villas, houses, uh, restaurants, office, even cars. And even the laptop have a window. So window, actually window was first recorded early in 13th century. And the Romans was the first known to use glass window. Window, when we say window, um, in the first chapter, uh, I mean first king chapter 6 to 4, 6 to 4 um, it says that, and in the house, and for the house, I mean, and for the house he made, windows of narrow lights. Uh, when we say window, window is an opening, opening that allows the passage of the light, the sound, and the air passage. So I believe we need to open our window so the light of God pass through us and we can hear the sound of his voice and let the air flow to our, I mean, air of His Spirit in our lives. I actually love to stay in the window. I don't put the curtains uh, 24 hours. I don't have, I didn't put the curtains 24 hours. And um, I believe curtains represent or symbolizes doubt and fear. So don't close it with your doubt and fear instead remove it remove your curtains and don't, don't you don't need to put decoration because i believe decorations symbolizes boastfulness and um, boastfulness or fear oh uh, no boastfulness or pride boastfulness of pride so you don't need to be to put the signs in the in your window because it blocks the the passage of or the ways or our connection or our intimate um, direct relationship with him so don't forget the purpose of the window don't close it <laughs> okay try to open it and um, allow allow God amen for today's prayer focus will be the church's attendance and uh, for the country of Ukraine and Africa. So please join me for praying. Let us pray. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Dear Jesus, we pray that you will remove all the hindrances that you will not allow the enemy to block our ways going to the church please jesus make our transportation safe and comfortable going to the church and going back to each everyone's accommodation please jesus for those who have a car let them have a very easy access to the parking space so they will not be late. Jesus, I pray for the beautiful country of Ukraine and Africa. Jesus, in times like this, please, please, Jesus, cover them with your strength, with your power. Please, Jesus, cover them with your protection. Tell them that everything is going under control. Give them hope 
that everything is going to be okay. We love you, Jesus, and um, I hope that you will hear our prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for joining me. Amen.